So this question says, when four times the number X is added to 12, so I can tell just by reading that first line there before the comma that this is gonna be a translation question. So I wanna just start translating as I read. I prefer to actively read. Um, I think it saves time from having to read the entire thing and then come back and reread it um, when you translate. So it tells me pretty clearly that four times the number X, which is just four X, is added to 12, so I'm gonna just say plus 12, and then keep reading, it says the result is eight. Okay, well that means equals eight. So there's my translation of that first sentence. The next sentence says, what number results when two times X, so two X plus, sorry, is added to seven, so plus seven, and since it's asking what number results, I'm gonna just pay a question mark right there. So I can simplify this equation, I can solve for X, once I have that X value, I can plug it into this equation to find my answer. That's the best way to approach this. So in simplifying the 4X plus 12 equals 8, I would subtract 12 from both sides. I'd end up with 4X equals negative 4. I'd divide by 4, both sides, and I'd end up with X equals negative 1. The trouble here is that some students are going to think that's the correct answer. They see negative 1 as choice A, but we're not done yet because the question does not ask us what X is equal to. It asks us what 2X plus 7 is equal to. So I'm going to plug that negative 1 in for X, which means that this 2 times X becomes negative 2, right? Because 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then plus 7, well, negative 2 plus 7 is equal to 5, and that is my true final answer, which is choice B.